Happy springtime, JRA fans. As you can see, it is late May, and we have a ton of snow. Um, this is the second night in a row that we've gotten snow, and everything's frozen, everything's muddy. Not complaining because everything's not on fire, so that's really nice. Um, this ride that you're about to watch is uh, a really good example of when you hear Matt get annoyed at how I am on rides of what happens. Uh, it's totally unplanned, not totally, but just unplanned stuff happens and I end up turning it into some kind of hike a bike adventure. And this is a little bit of a miniature version of that. Um, definitely didn't involve, you know, anything high alpine, no thunderstorms or anything like that. So, uh, yeah, this is uh, just an Andrea adventure that I went on while he was riding Cottonwood Pass when we were in Buena Vista last week. So, enjoy. I'm going to ride the river road. I don't want that. Not Cottonwood. Rolling out of Buena Vista on the river road. This would suck on a regular gravel bike. The roof of that tunnel definitely drips onto the road a lot. And it's, uh, it's just lumpy. This bike is freaking awesome. I got it big tires and WTB Rangers 2.25 got a real suspension port got all the gears it's the future of gravel mountain biking tunnel didn't quite make it. Well, it wasn't too much further. Uh, that is the gate on this old railroad grade to a nice irrigated pasture, nice ranch. It is gorgeous out here. All right, I figured this halfway point is going to be my gravel bike check-in. This is the motherfucking gravel bike. It is a Rocky Mountain Vertex. It holds regular ass mountain bike wheels, a regular ass mountain bike crank. It has boost spacing front and rear with a 100 millimeter suspension fork, a quart power meter, with a 34 tooth chain ring. Any of you that have a gravel bike with big ass tires on it and road gearing know that or you probably at some point if you have climbs in your area have wanted a smaller front chain ring we've got a 1050 cassette some red post mount brakes WTB Ranger 2.25 which is a new addition to this um, the zip uh, the Zip Explore bar. It has a kind of short reach, shorter than most other bars, so it helped make that conversion for it from the mountain bike to the road bike uh, drop bar setup. And to tie it all together, got that sand girl front roll. Got to have that on a gravel bike, or else it's not a gravel bike. So there you go. 
So this turnaround is almost 11 miles outside of Buena Vista. I started from the river park in downtown or near downtown Buena Vista. Uh, in 11 miles, it has climbed approximately 500 feet. So um, pretty gentle. There's been a little bit of a headwind all day. All day. All uh, 50 minutes that I've been riding has been a little bit of a headwind. So I expect the return trip to be a little spicy. I am going to go back to um, the town that's about a mile back down the road. There is a spot where you can cross over the highway, Highway 24, and ride up um, the foothills towards the mountains to a Colorado Trail trailhead. I'm going to do that because I'm killing time while Matt rides Cottonwood Pass, which is a climb that I did not quite feel up for and that he wanted to do. So. Uh, hopefully he makes it to the top. There might be snow. He might have to stop and turn around early, but we'll see. I'm gonna go do my climb now. So even though this takes you, this road takes you to public land and to a Colorado Trail trailhead, apparently it is a private road for owners and guests only. So uh, I guess fuck you. I'm just gonna roll back to town and uh, I don't know, go look around Four Mile Canyon or something. So, since that road was closed, I decided to check out this road off the river road. And what do you know, I found hike a bike. Can you believe it? On the map, this just dead ends, but you never know if the map's right or not. You gotta go check out for yourself. See if it's actually a dead end. Or if it connects to something. <clears throat> this is why I'll never know how we quote unquote real gravel bike. <clears throat> Alright, I got to the top of the hike a bike and well, you can't see it here. There was a game trail where the road ended. I was hoping that there would actually, the road kept going. A lot of times it'll dead end on a map and then keep going for real, but not in good shape. And uh, Basically that rock formation up there is really close to the beginning of the vitamin B trail that goes into Buena Vista and I was kind of hoping it would connect up there but I mean not that you couldn't hike up there but I'm not going to push my bike and climb over rocks and shit to get up there so so much for that idea it's always worth checking out this has been another Andrea I wonder where that goes adventure bones. Ooh, a little antler. Fuck yeah. I wonder if there's another one. I feel like animal bones get washed down spots like this. I'm going to turn the camera off and keep looking. Oh, I see the other one. I'm not going to turn the camera off. Oh, no, that's a stick. False alarm. I'm gonna keep looking though. All right, that's about as far out as I wanna go, up as I wanna go. Um, this wash kind of ends, sort of. 
Um, so it's going to be a lot harder to find any more deer bones or antlers like this one. So I'm going to go back down. It's, I don't know, you can never tell on a camera how steep it is, but it's very steep. I'm going to go back down. Matt just called. He's headed this direction from BV. And when I told him that I was on an Andrea adventure where I was hiking up the drainage looking for a deer skull, he said, of course you are. And he didn't sound happy about it. Shit. All right, maybe I should stop cameraing and uh, do better at walking. <laughs> there you had it, everyone. Um, that is kind of what happens when I have unplanned stuff happen on a bike ride. I just make my own adventure. And there's the bike. Awesome bike. Uh, Matt got turned around not all the way up Cottonwood Pass. Apparently they're working on the top of the road right now and it was closed to everyone, not just cars. So he ended up, I met, met him about halfway back, back to BV and uh, we got lunch and headed home. But let me know in the comments here if you enjoy this video, if you want me to take my camera along on more adventures. Uh, I can't always predict when that's going to happen because that's part of uh, why they're Andrea adventures because they usually happen when I was going to do something totally different. But hope you liked it. See you next time.